At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Welcome everybody to another great interview here at Custom Body Fitness. Uh, we have an amazing member with us. She's looking amazing. Wait until you see the before and after. When I was taking the pictures, I was amazed about how tall she looks. She was she has put a lot of effort on her body and she has changed a lot of stuff. But she's very consistent with her assessment and we go through a lot of things and a lot of questions that she has uh, when she is um, relapsing and when she is um, when she has doubt and so on. So I'm very proud of Karina Vasio. And I want to introduce you, Karina. Karina, welcome. Hi, thanks for uh, inviting me for this interview. Of course, um, I'm, I'm very impressed about your transformation. Thank you, that's because of you too. <laughs> you helped me a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Let's, 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 uh, let's focus on you. Let's talk about why did you start it? What motivated you to transform your body? So like initially, I mean, I've been working out before at home, which is like, and then um, I've been seeing a lot of ads from like Facebook and everything. So, but, but not the reason is like, not because of that. I started to be, um, be coming to the gym because I really want to invest in myself while I'm young. I'm seeing a lot of like people who works out and then who's being outdoorsy. So uh, why would I not invest on myself while I'm young? And then I don't have, it's not that I don't have to worry about it when I grow old, but that's the main reason. And I don't want to, you know, I, I want to, um, I, I want to be healthy and I also want to live a happy life. I think that's the main reason why I started to work out. Okay. Um, good. That's, that's a great, that's a great um, motivation. I think many of us forget that we're getting old and unless we work on, on our, on our body, mm -hmm. besides we looking good, uh, we don't have limitations. We have the strength, we stay young and so on. So tell me what is, what is it that, that continue motivates you for you to transform your body right now? What do you have in your mind? What is the, what is the goal? The goal is to look good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I mean, like, uh, apart from, like, looking good when I'm, like, um, older, I want to, um, I want to do a lot of things. Because, like, when you're healthy and you're not sick, you can do a lot of things. Like, I mean, you could work, you could have money, but my mom always used to say, it's like when you're not healthy, when you're sick, you cannot do things that you want to do in the future. So that's my main goal and Perfect. motivation. You don't, you don't want to get sick. Nice. And you want to look good, like you mentioned yes. as well. Okay. So now tell me what is it they have given your souls? And let's begin with... Um, with your food. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the changes you have made there. So I honestly made a lot of changes. Tell um, me how you used to eat and how you eat now. So people know the changes you made. So I'm at like, a, I used to eat a lot of carbs. When I say a lot of carbs, I eat a lot of rice. Um, back home, we, we eat, our staple food is like rice. So we eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, rice bread coffee and when i say coffee it's like 
instant coffee, like the one that has like sugar and everything on it. And when I'm like close to my period, I used to like eat a lot of like junk foods and then sodas just to like um, just to like give that something to yourself. I mean, like when you're craving, you tend to like feed that cravings with like unhealthy food. And you're craving more when you're in your yes, period. Yes, yes, yes. And then I would say when I started working out, I eat more veggies, more fruits, more fibers. And then maybe I still eat rice and carbs because I know our body needs it too. But at the same time, I cut my rice to like probably like once, once a day. That's my like heavy meal. And then I do more of like veggies and then I do protein. And also I try and I did my best to like cut my junk foods and I'm happy about it even my sodas so you don't used to eat veggies before you started eating not veggies. a lot not a lot and then right now I'm trying to stick as much as I can to like whole foods and organic I mean I know it's expensive but I think it's more expensive to be like in the hospital than to like eat the healthy ones yeah two things that I want to mention there is uh First, one of my clients said that then she said that she started investing in, in, in herself and she started buying the best food. She said that she won't she won't think about it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have that limitation to think about spending money on her food. And sometimes her, her friends complain because she, they told her that she doesn't like to spend money because she doesn't buy brand clothes. Yeah. She uh -huh. doesn't buy she doesn't buy things that are shiny and things like mm -hmm. that. And she said. Yeah, people think that I don't like to spend my money. Yeah, I don't like to spend my money in material things, but I do like to spend my money in my in the food that I'm going to eat because um, I saw my friend die, dying of her cousin, dying of uh, cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, she had that limitation. She preferred to, I mean, I call it limitation because it's, it's a mental limitation. Uh, she preferred to spend money more in material things than spending more in her food. And like... I think it's also the same when you say like, uh, yeah, she's like people, we have like a uh, different spending. So for me, it's the same thing. It's like, I would rather spend more on my myself because like food, I'm in taking it, but like for material things, yeah, sometimes it's like you could just like throw it away. So like sometimes the value is not there, but when for food, it's going to show on your body because like you eat healthy and then like you intake that good food in yourself. Yeah. Uh, tell me, tell me about. I have the question right here. Oh yeah, about drinking. So I would say for drinking, like alcohol. Yes. Um. Uh. I'm working at a uh, food and food and beverage, so it's kind of like um. It's a factor for us because we do some tastings, and we do a lot of cocktails, liquors. But when I started working out, I tried to like cut as much as I can because yeah, alcohol gives, uh, it actually is a big factor in not getting that goals. So as for the alcohol, I, I am trying my best to like cut it off. So at least I would say like right now, I just like drink once or two drinks a month, a which month. I could see like there's a big difference. How do you just drink before? I mean, I'm not a drinker. I'm occasional drinker. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I would say like I could probably uh, finish a bottle of wine and every day. Not every day. Like in a week, I could do like a bottle of wine, but then it really affects because like you I would say, difference yeah. And then from they say a bottle like, a week to two drinks a month. A month, because like they say, like alcohol, it's so hard to remove that from your body, and it takes like few days to even clear it out from your system nice it also Good. affects your mind so yeah. <laughs> when you're in that state with the alcohol in your mind you cannot think well <laughs> good uh, I'm, I'm happy that, that, that you make that change and it's showing on your body right yeah, yes okay so now let's talk about you exercise mm -hmm. tell me about the things that you used to do and the things that you do and now remember i know what you're doing but our public don't know um what are you doing okay, and what, so, what you used to do? <laughs> so before I started at the gym, I used to like work, work out just at home, like with my mat 
doing like the rope and let's just go for like a little bit of like walk but then when i started working out this like i started lifting heavy which i did not think i can do i started increasing my weights i started coming to the gym like at least three or four times a week and now i'm also doing cardio which it doesn't matter if i'm happy or sad i was like i need to do this especially it's like it's for me it's not for other people because like sometimes it affects when you're when you're sad it's like no i can do it tomorrow but like when i started seeing like good results this i need to keep this result i cannot like just go back being inconsistent and off the track so mm -hmm. i've been doing like more cardio to incorporating on my liftings yeah so it's not about how you feel it's about yes. the discipline. discipline because if you go as how you feel so then you're gonna miss a lot of days and you are yes. very disciplined on that except for those days that you go away on vacation vacation it uh, is a big factor it affects so much yeah but you're still very con consistent on your workouts and your eating on your exercise and so on and what were you at the beginning? What was your fat percentage? 40 something? Uh, that's 37 to be exact. 37 point something. <laughs> okay. And right now at 25. Yes. Nice. And we're going to 20. We're, we're going to go to 20. That's the goal. Nice. Good job on the discipline. I'm, I'm very proud of you. I know that for anybody changing their habits and become disciplined is not easy. We go about how we feel. I don't feel like doing it today. I'm, I'm tired. It's, I'm, it's, I'm in my period. I feel depressed. I drink it last night or whatever it is. And they, they come up with those reasons that I call excuses for them not to become disciplined and just be there if they really want to get those results. Yes. Good job, Karina. Now, the next thing is, tell me what has been the most difficult of your whole routine. Uh, the most challenging part, it's actually my schedule at work. So for my schedule, I'm working at night and I come home at like midnight and then I have to just sleep, um, what, like four or five hours and then I have to wake up. That's a very great factor because when you don't have that much sleep, sometimes you tend not to have that energy to lift weights but i made sure that that's not gonna be like it's not gonna go on the way because like i tried to sleep after so so you come exercise and then go back and sleep yeah <laughs> yeah so it needs to be balanced yeah nice yeah yeah you need the sleep for you to recover because mm -hmm. that's when everything is happening when you masters build in when you recover your energy when you lose in the way and everything so i don't completely i don't disagree with what you're saying yes it's, it's but that's the factor because you work very late Yes. Then you have to wake up early, exercise, and then... And I think another one would be uh, probably diet. I would say diet. Because <laughs> for us, we tend to like, oh, I want to eat this. But honestly, diet is, I would say, for me personally, I would say diet is like kind of like 70%. Yeah. If I do, yeah, I live a lot. But then, like, if I don't eat well and I'm not consistent on my diet, it shows on my body whenever we have assessment i know it's it's the diet that the that like affects it too if it doesn't come out well so i think just a consistency for the diet and you need to say no to your cravings maybe sometimes but yeah or maybe change it for something different yeah that is healthier like do a um what do you call it? another option for that yeah know, substitute for that so now tell me how important the assessment has been for you it is very important because it shows how i did or how um how well behaved i was on that month not just on my workout but clearly on my diet how consistent i was and it also shows it, it's going to reflect if if that's what you want or that also will motivate you if you want to do better on the next assessment so that's a, that's a very important factor for me yeah you're very consistent with that and that's the reason why you 
delivering those results. Yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about your journey and the whole thing. How you like it? How you like it changing your life? Because this is not something about just doing it for a month, two months, or whatever. This is a life change. Mm -hmm. How you like it and ask how you used to live before and now how you live it? I love my lifestyle, like working out, having that like motivation and goals. How that's helping you? It's Why helping you like me it? a lot because like before I don't used to be very active. I don't work out. I thought I was like healthy and strong, but it made me uh, stronger and healthier. And I mean, like, bef like before, I honestly, it's like, I always see people wearing those kind of things. It's like, oh, they look good and they're like gym outfit and it's like their dress. And I don't have that confidence before to like wear those in public. But now I'm so happy because whenever I like like buy some clothes that I I'd always want to wear, I look I would say I would I look good on it. And I'm so <laughs> proud of it because it just doesn't, um, it's not just about confidence, but you looking good on it. And it's like, oh, I was just thinking about this like before and now I'm wearing it, I'm doing it. And it's like, that wasn't like, I never thought about it before, but now, and whenever I come to the gym and everyone like say, say like, oh, you're looking great. And it's like, thank you. I don't even expect those kind of things, but whenever they say that, I'm being proud of myself, nice. of what I've become. And it helped me a lot through my journey through like custom body fitness. I would say it has been great. Great. And that's confidence, right? Yes. The, uh, and one of the things that you mentioned that I didn't think about it is that something how you put it is that you're looking at other people looking fit and looking that close. And you could imagine that it's probably the clothes that is making them look good, but it's not true. They yes. make the clothes look good because they have that body. And probably you don't have the confidence to wear that clothes because you don't have that body yes. to show that clothes. But now that you do, now you make the clothes, not the clothes <laughs> makes you, right? Yeah. Okay, and the last question that I want to ask is, what is your best weight loss tip or body toning uh, body transformation tip that you can give to people they're starting or they're having difficulty toning their body okay so i would say like the best tip that i could give is like first of course diet and then lift the weight it's like don't be um like don't be afraid to lift heavier and then try to if you have like time as well after your workout do some cardios, like walking, running, especially right now, like summer is coming. I would say it adds, a, it adds to like toning your body too. But yeah, the main factor like tip that I could give you is don't be afraid to increase your weight if you know you can and be consistent with it. Don't go lower and yeah, just be consistent and be disciplined with your diet and workout. Thank and you. Anything else that you want to add? Um, anything else that I would want to add? I would say, um, first, I want to thank you for everything. And, like, I honestly want to say this. Like, a lot of people would ask me, why would you go to this gym, not a regular gym? I would say, I'm happy because you're always there to, like, train us, to motivate us, to, like, tell us what we're missing and then what needs to be done. And I'm happy with the environment that we have here. Like I've been working out with a lot of people, different age, like young and old. I've been very fascinated to them. I mean, I've been fascinated with them because like, like one example, I see like there's a lot of parents here, a lot of like older people who lives very heavy. And it's like, I've been so like, wow. How can they do that? So that's also one thing that gives me a reason to be more motivated and to lift heavier. It's like, if they can do it with their age, 
why can I not when I'm like, I'm young. And then despite the fact that they, some parents here, they have a lot of responsibilities. Why can I not if I don't have much like them? So I want to say thank you for everything, for motivating me, for giving me like advices. Oh, my pleasure. That's, that's my work. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's my assistant. Otherwise, I, um, I mean, my life won't make sense. I really appreciate it, Karina. Those words hit my heart. Yeah, thank you. I'm looking forward to like for us to be uh, more expanded and then to have more people join us in the future. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Karina. Uh, here you go, everybody. You hear this amazing interview. <laughs> You hear everything that you need to do, exactly everything that you need to do to tone your body. Uh, first of all, find your motivation, eat healthy, lift your heavy weights, do cardio and be consistent. I mean, it's very clear right there. Karina said it just better than I did. Uh, Karina, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Great job. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be tuning in in the next episode and the next interview. Bye now. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.